In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Good morning, everybody. To be ready for Mass, we call to mind our sins and ask God for his forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my works, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my thought, through my thought, through my most grievous thought. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me. May Almighty God have mercy on us, may He forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Holy Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayers. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, the glory of God, the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who consecrated the first fruit of your apostles by the blood of St. James, grant we pray that your church may be strengthened by his confession of faith and constantly sustained by his protection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brethren, we have this treasure in earthen vessel to show that the transcendent power belongs to God and not to us. We are afflicted in every way, but not crushed, perplexed, but not driven to despair, persecuted, but not forsaken, struck down, but not destroyed, always carrying in the body the death of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may always be manifested in our bodies for while we live. We are always being given up to death for Jesus' sake, so that the life of Jesus may be manifested in our mortal flesh. So that is at work in us, but life in you. Since we have the same spirit of faith as he had who wrote, I believed, and so I spoke. We too believe, and so we speak, knowing that he who raised the Lord Jesus will raise us also with Jesus, and bring us with you into his presence. For it is all for your sake, so that as grace extends to more and more people, it may increase thanksgiving to the glory of God. The word of the Lord. Those who are sowing in tears will sing when they reap. Those who are sowing in tears will sing when they reap. When the Lord brought back the exile of Zion, we thought we were dreaming. Then was our mouth filled with laughter, in our tongues, songs of joy. Then the nations themselves said, 
What great deeds the Lord worked for them. What great deeds the Lord worked for us. Indeed, we were glad. Bring back our exile, O Lord, our streams in the south. Those who are sowing in tears will sing when they reap. They go out, they go out, full of tears, bearing seed for the sowing. They come back, they come back with a song, bearing their sheaves. from the wall, that you should go and bear fruit, and that your fruit should abide, says the Lord. The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. At that time, the mother of sons of Zebedee came up to Jesus with her sons, kneeling before him, he asked him for something. And he said to her, What do you want? She said to him, Command that these two sons of mine may sit, one at your right hand and one at your left in your kingdom. But Jesus answered, Do you not know what you are asking? Are you able to drink the chalice that I am to drink? They said to him, We are able. He said to them, You will drink my chalice, for to sit at my right hand, to sit at my left is not mine to grant. That is for the those for whom it has been prepared by my Father. And when the ten heard it, they were indignant at the two brothers. But Jesus called them to him and said, You know, the lords of the Gentiles lord it over them, and the great one man exercise authority over them. It shall not be like so among you. Whoever will grant among great among you must be your servant. Whoever will be first among you must be your slave. Even as the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve, to give his life as a ransom for many. The Gospel of the Lord. So today in the Catholic Church, we celebrate St. James the Apostle. Four things we need to know. James was one of the original disciples of Jesus, an apostle of Jesus, one of the original, original twelve. Secondly, he was the second to die after Judas Iscariot. Thirdly, he died as a martyr. That's where we are wearing right today to symbolize that, which means he gave his life for the message, for the gospel, for the good news, and for the kingdom of God. And fourthly, he leaves us an example to emulate and to copy. Whenever we celebrate the life of saints, and especially martyrs, what does the church say to each and every one of us? The church is telling us, look at those who have gone ahead of you. Look at their life. Look at their example. Look at what they did. 
and they were willing at the end to even pay the ultimate price with their life in order to glorify God, to give praises to God's kingdom, and also to be an example to each and every one of us. So as we continue our Mass this morning, my friends, these things are very clear. Every one of us, one way or the other, is called to be a follower of Christ, an authentic follower of Christ, not just a side follower of Christ. We follow Christ ultimately every day, everywhere, in all situations and in all circumstances. Not only when it is beautiful and it's nice and in favorable, no, no, in season, out of season, in triumph, in defeat, in difficult, no matter what it is, we follow Christ. That's what the apostles did, more so the matters. So for us, me and you, we are called upon by virtue of our baptism and becoming Christians to also become martyrs. Maybe not to have our head cut off or have our body burnt, but ultimately we become martyrs by defending the faith that we profess Christianity. We become martyrs by living out of the values which we share as Christians and as believers. We live out our martyrdom ultimately by becoming under Christ, those we encounter to those we meet. Remember, the martyrs, the saints, gave their life for the sake of the gospel, for the defense of the gospel, for the promotion of Christianity and the values that we hold there. Certainly, every one of us who is baptized and is a Christian, be willing and ready, as it were, to also adhere to these policies, to this noble achievement of the matters, to defend Christianity, propagate the name of Jesus Christ, to spread the message of the kingdom, and become under Christ to those we encounter, to those we meet. So as we go out this morning, after this Mass, remember, today there will be many, many opportunities to defend the Christian faith. There are many opportunities to propagate the message of Christianity. There are many opportunities to live out the kingdom of God and expand its frontiers and its boundary. This we are called to be. This is the new martyrdom all of us are called to share. We pray that as God gave the apostles the martyrs to suffer and live their Christian faith in defense of the cross, that every one of us, as we go out this morning, God himself, who has called us by name, by virtue of our baptism, will equally give us the grace and the strength and the ability and the willingness, as it were, to live out our new martyrdom. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. and sisters that our prayers and sacrifice this morning might be acceptable to God the Almighty Father.
Cleanse us, Lord, by the saving baptism of your son's passion, and on the face of St. James, whom you wait to be the first among the apostles to drink of Christ's chalice of suffering, we may offer a sacrifice pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is surely right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you, Eternal Shepherd, is not leave your flock, but through the blessed apostles, wash over it and protect it always, that may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we are clear. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. May holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending your spirit upon them like they do fall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate this Eucharist. At the time we were betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. But this is my body, we should be given up for you. In a similar way, when Sopa ascended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. We should be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Keep in mind that Jesus Christ has died for us. And is risen from the dead. He is our saving Lord. He is just for us. Therefore, as we celebrate this day, all of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you heard us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, pray throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Ignatius, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Saint Joseph, her spouse, with Blessed Saint James the Saint, Apostle and Martyr, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus the Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Those 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to our apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, our fault, or limitations, or look rather on the faith of your church, on the faith of this believing community, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. God of our each other, the sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. I hope you are with this morning to be invited to this banquet. May the body and the blood of Christ bring us to life that is everlasting. Let us pray. Help us, o Lord, we pray, to the intercession of the blessed Apostle James, in whose face they will receive with joy your holy gifts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Hey, Holy Queen.
pray for us, Holy Mother of God. As you go out this morning in the search of the means of livelihood, may God bless and provide for you. Amen. May God bless the works of your hand. Amen. May God open doors for you this day. Amen. May you go out this morning with joy. May you come back rejoicing. Amen. And today, may God be kind to you. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace and in the joy of the Lord.